a small town boy achieves the ability of creating a career in advertising in nothing less than New York City. What book did I read this week? You're right. It was Obvious Adams. And it was a fictional representation on the business principles that really matter. And I'm so grateful that I read this book. I encourage you all to do the same. My name is Justine Mater, and we're going to jump right into the biggest takeaways that I had from reading this book. My goal is to read 52 books this year. And so we're going to jump right into it. This was number seven for me. So whoop, whoop. I'm super excited. Um, so overall, Oliver Adams is the name of the main fictional character, and he's a small town boy that goes to New York City and sets out to create a career in advertising. And he comes from a very simplistic business style, and I think that that's the number one thing that attracted me to this book when I was reading reviews, was that business is really simple, and success is really simple. So how do we break this down? How do we go through this? And the book did a great job laying that out. And I'll try to share some of my points with you that maybe will help you have some tangible outcomes. So without further ado, um, his success was based on, I think I have five principles. Yeah, it was about five principles. Um, so number one, common sense. Common sense ain't so common these days. <laughs> Here's why. Um, he used common sense to be a problem solver in his business, right? We do that in our lives. He did the very same in business. He avoided the overcomplicated things and focused on the most straightforward solution. So when I work with business owners, a lot of the things that I try to break that down are their SOPs, their standing, standard operating procedures. Make it clear, simple, and precise. No fluff, no stuff just straightforward, the bones and the real gears that turn the wheels in your business. And so I love when he talks about common sense and what it was like in his life to apply that. It was, it was so tangible, actionable, and simplified. And it was something that you can rinse and repeat. The best people that succe succeed in business are people that become masters at what they do. And it starts with common sense. So that one was really, really key to me. Um, number two, honesty. Some of you know, some of you don't. I've had some interesting collaborations in my past. And so reading through this book, uh, several passages hit home for me because um, my reputation is everything. And being honest with my people, being transparent with what I do, how I do it, and how much it means to me is really, really important. So as I was reading, he be believed not only being honest with his clients, but he was honest with himself. Can I do this? How am I going to do this? What does this look like? That self-development chapter, right? But he was honest. And so he didn't make promises he couldn't keep. And he was up front with every challenge that came to him. I love challenges. However, to it not admit that it is a challenge or, you know, not be fully transparent on what's actually going on or the obstacles we may be overcoming as a business or for clients. It's, this was just so reassuring for me. And so not to drag this into my personal stuff, but I just want to be transparent with you. And so honesty is something that's super, super important to me. And it, it really just hit an authentic chord in me as I read it. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, persistence. Oh, holy cow. Throughout the book, it's crazy because his approach was just relentless to so many different problems that arose. Yes, this is a fictional book, but all of us every single one of us has these moments where it's just, it, it seems like you're knocked down and you're knocked down and you're knocked down. And there's so many quotes out there, you know, it's not how many times you're knocked down, it's how many you get up. But it boils down to that. And he, he wasn't willing to give up, and, but rather he was willing to put in the effort to really see the outcome. So, um, and providing that solution for his, his clients was his overall goal. So yeah, no, I absolutely loved that. And number four, this one was super key for me. Adams was all about empathy. And the way to ta tangibly explain empathy for you guys, I would say, is putting yourself in their shoes versus looking at their shoes and saying, oh, I'm so sorry, that sucks. Like, what would you do in their situation? Are you a struggling business owner that's, you know, struggling to advertise? Are you a, you know, maxed out business owner that doesn't know how to scale? You know, whatever that problem is that you're facing, he really focused on putting himself in their shoes so that he could then provide the solution from that perspective. And so that's where people have asked me before, wow, you seem so good at sales. No, I'm just, I'm, I've been gifted with the intuition of empathy to look at it so tangibly so that my solution is actually something that serves them at such a level that they can't say no. 
And so it's one of those things where if you look at your life that way and your business from that perspective, it, it all changes. It all changes. So lead with empathy and remember that's, that's the difference. So empathy and sympathy, they sound similar, but they're actually very different. So remember empathy is the one that you're searching for. Okay. We got this. And lastly, creativity. So there's so many times where we find ourselves being like, stay in the line, stay in the boxes. And that's not always the best way to utilize your time in your business. That's not the best way to utilize your energy. And so it's one of those things for each and every one of us to consider the traditional methods. Yes, absolutely. Try it. If it's, you know, working, don't break it. However, if you can improve something, if you can enhance an experience, if you can create that unique selling proposition or that unique solution to someone's problem, that's going to be the point where you stand out in your industry. And so I want to use this last point as creativity to encourage you to find your unique touch in the market because there's hundreds of people in every niche, every market, and there's only one of you more than likely. There's no one that can do it exactly just as you do. There's no one that can lead exactly as you do. There's, there, there isn't. And that's just the awesomeness that God has created all of us to be uniquely different. But truly, it's one of those things where each and every one of us can take these, you know, even five basic points. And I say basic not to be rude. I say basic to be encouraging. It doesn't have to be hard. We can simplify and optimize and truly build successful businesses that change and impact people's lives. So that's why I love this book obvious uh, Adams and uh, Oliver was a great fictional character that I related to in so many ways. So hopefully this was beneficial to you. And again, if you enjoy these, let me know in the comments and I can't wait to see you next week. Take care.